What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. We're back with some player of the weeks. We've got Son, Gretzka and a selection of other players as well. And at this stage lads, I've said it once, I'll say it a hundred times man. These players are very much built towards newcomers, right? And we'll get into that, but there is the odd nugget if that's how you want to call it. There is the odd nugget of uh, of a player in here as well that's like a really good golden nugget, a bit of a hidden gem type player that you mightn't usually play with. And I think it is Guler. This guy looks really, really good. We also get an endo booster as well. There's lots of packs today, boys. There's lots of packs. We'll get through everything when we do stream a little bit later as well. But first, we are going to look at this and then we'll do a roundup of everything in another video. Yeah, I mean, listen, one me, this guy is pretty decent. Besek is pretty decent. You've got uh, this goalkeeper as well. I'm not even going to pr pronounce his name as it's far too early for me to pronounce, try even pronounce his name. Ukija? 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 Anyway, this guy is playing over for Mets. I didn't think that he'd come because I know that Mets have been, you know, I mean, how have they been doing in the league? But yeah, this goalkeeper, just to get the guys out of straight away, the guys that you won't really want to be spinning for. I mean, listen, if you spin, it's all about perspective. We keep saying that, baby. It's all about perspective. If you download the game today and you spin three or four of these players, brilliant. You get them and they're always going to be straight into a boost. But if you've been playing for longer than even a month, these players are not going to scratch the surface. If you've been playing for longer than three months, Sun isn't even going to make into your squad, I don't think. But yeah, I mean, you've got this goalkeeper and you also have Demarbe as well. This guy is not a bad uh, orchestrator, DMF. Very nice uh, uh, kick and power, very nice low pass. Tight possession and stamina are actually quite decent as well. He's got some fairly decent player skills as well, boys. And as we know, man, it does come down to a couple of player skills. If you are looking at getting and improving, you need to understand what works on the pitch. It's not just about picking your best players. It's not just about picking, you know, players that you think are going to be like have a high overall. It's about having the right player in the right system for your right tactics and these player of the weeks really streamline that experience for you. One touch pass, true pass and low lofted. He doesn't have way to pass, which is a bit of a strange one. I found it with the player of the weeks. I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments below. But I found that like Konami don't really give you the full package of a player of the week. They always like have one or two things that don't, you know, go to the final, the final kind of hurdle with it, right? We also have Besek here, who's down as an extra front man. Again, very, very solid. He's tall, he's strong, he's physical, his physical contact and heading are quite good he's got area superiority blocker and interception and heading but he doesn't have acrobatic clearance so that's a perfect example of what i'm talking about there obviously all these players are on a rating as well so that's going to be a, a must speed is a little bit down from where the meta needs to be but as a non-meta type like end game level player he's going to be a hell of a lot, hell of, a lot of fun to play with because he's so tall i mean he, he looks really 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 strong really nice and i do like kind of tall players like that we also have one meet there as well. This guy has got really good attack and awareness and finishing. Acceleration and speed leaves a lot to be desired as well. The Spaniard is, is pretty okay. I mean, he's got one touch pass, first time shot, soul control, chip shot, long range, acrobatic, and track back with aerial superiority, even though he's only 172 cm. So it's a very unique card, I would say. But again, he's not running gun enough for what really works in the game. He's not tall enough, you know, for a target man. So he kind of falls into that kind of like no man's land in the current gameplay at the moment he's not really at the at the races so to speak to bring in a Cheltenham term but anyway we do have Endo as well who is down as a booster now this Endo card lads we got the Endo card that was from the, J the Japan pack a couple of weeks ago um and he was an absolute beast I think this guy is definitely going to be the surprise package him and Goulet are going to be the players that I really want on my road to glory which we will be streaming today Everything that you could possibly want, including uh, in man marking, blocker, area superiority, fight and spirit, and acrobatic clearance. He doesn't have one touch pass, but usually if you have a player that's got 78 low pass, um, which the booster is going to give him to 80, that's fairly okay. His tackling, his uh, aggression, his defensive awareness, he's down as a destroyer. Everything on this card is pretty beastly. Now, I would say you'd need to play him in a very specific formation, which is kind of a double pivot, and not expect too much of him going forward. So to have him sitting beside an anchorman maybe, or maybe a box-to-box -box and a destroyer, so you could have two you know, fulcrums going all the time. Guler is somebody that we already mentioned as well earlier in the preview, but acceleration is solid, his attack and awareness is solid, his balance is solid. He's not kind of like going to replace, in my opinion, he's not going to replace any of your main center forwards, but this guy reminds me of Rodrigo, the super sub Rodrigo that they had. He doesn't have flip-flap, he doesn't have the ball roll that you'd be able to do, and you can't add flip-flap to any of these player of the weeks, you know, so that is a bit of a concern if you're looking to turn him into like, 
your new running gun center forward, but double touch, one touch pass, super sub and outside curler, long range curler with dip and shot. It's a solid car, man. It's something different. You've got tight possession, balance, acceleration, and attacking awareness with finishing all around where it needs to be. But again, not quite where it should be if you are looking to have him as your main guy going forward. Like standard Mbappe GP is going to be a better option if you're just looking for goals. If you want to play with Guler, obviously that's going to be that's going to be a lot of fun. Now, a player that I have focused on before is Goretzka. Very strong. He's not the fastest, but he don't he won't let you down, lads. His movement and his AI movement box to box. I'm delighted that Goretzka actually does get a booster because he deserves a man. I definitely want to get this card just from a pure collection point of view as well. True passing, beautiful. True passing is very busted at the moment. We'll get into that in the live stream. Interception and fighting spirit. And of course, he also has a couple of nice stats, including low pass, including lofted pass, kick and power. If you're going to be taking a lot of stunning shots with him. Physically, he's very strong. Defensively, he's solid. Listen, as a DMF box to box, he's probably down like just, I'd say, hovering between low tier and mid tier in terms of how good he actually is. But he does play a lot better when he's on form. He is consist inconsistent form. So that is a bit of a worry with any of these players that have it, even though he's got A rating. Now we get into kind of the top four, right? Well, Dest and Walker, we can kind of just categorize as the same type of player. One on the left, one on the right. Just pure and ultra speed. That's all you're going to be getting. Speed and acceleration and stamina are really, really high. Some nice player skills as well. He doesn't have soul control. That would have given him ball roll, but he does have double touch and flip flap for, nice, uh, for a nice card. And Kyle Walker is the same. Really good speed and acceleration and stamina. Defensively, Kyle Walker is actually really, really solid, man. Aggression is 85. Um, blocker interception. He can play as a CB or right back. This is a very unique card, man. This is a very unique card. He has soul control as well for those kind of like tight, deft touches. Chop turn is nice to get you out of a bit of bother. Interception, area superiority, acrobatic finish, acrobatic clearance, and fighting spirit. Pretty decent, man. Pretty decent. Now, we have been looking for a sun card for quite a while. That's going to be like a booster and it's going to compare with the Blitz Curler. But I don't think that this card is it, boys. Honestly, I don't think that this is it. The reason why the Blitz Curler is so good is because his finishing is so high. His finishing is like really key for a card like this. Um, but I think that the Blitz Curler just obviously is very animation driven, but it's his movement, the way he holds the ball. And I definitely do think that this Sun card is going to be as close as what we've get, we are going to get to the Blitz Curler unless they re-release the Blitz Curler, which, which is a possibility, but I don't think they will. His speed and acceleration is phenomenal. His stamina is excellent. His finishing is at 90. His ball control driven and tight possession is really, really nice as well. We talked about it a, a couple of minutes ago. If Konami had given him attacking awareness 88 and acceleration 88, with the manager boots, that would have given him 90 in both of those stats. And again, that is where they're kind of holding back these cars and they're not just letting them go to that final, final, final form that they seem to be holding it back for future packs, right? And we'll get into that in the live stream later. But his shooting plus three is going to be nice. Acrobatic finishing, chop turn, long range curler, long range shooting, true passing, first time shot. Very, very solid card. And I do love the fact that he's down as a goal poacher. I think that's the only thing that's going to swing it if you are looking to get this sun, if you already have a very, very good version of sun, that could swing it for you. And then, of course, we do have Ben White as well. Having a good season, it must be said. They need to get up his tan, though, because he, every time I see him, and it looks like he's just coming out of the sunbeds. But genuinely, I do think that Ben White is an extremely good player in this game. He's kind of like Tommy Yashu. He has everything that you could possibly want. He's got speed, acceleration, everything that you could possibly want in him. And he's quite tall as well, and he can play right back or CB. He's kind of a slept-on player, I'll be honest, lads. So down as an attack and full back, he's more of an offensive full back with an attack and play style. So I do like those unique cards. But that is pretty much it, lads. Guler there as well, as I said, his acceleration finishing is very, very decent. I would say that the three picks here are probably Endo, Guler, and Son. And I think if you're kind of getting Bed White and Walker, you can make them work in your squad as well. Besic is a bit of banter as well. But it's a good player of the week pack, depending on where you are with your eFootball journey. But that is it for me, lads. I will be back later. We will be streaming a two-day very, very soon. I hope to see you guys in the chat for a couple of chats. And uh, we will talk to you guys then.